Hello friends, in this video we will understand how to render motion blur in Houdini. Okay, so first I would like to show you some images of motion blur. So uh, here you can see these streaks kind of thing, which is actually a blur. And uh, and you can understand that like the moving things in your pick in your frame will be blur according to the motion okay so here uh, you can see these two cubes are there and this cube is motion moving so you can get some sort of motion blur here but this one is not having motion blur so this is a good example of motion blur here and uh, in feature films or in any cgi content we require motion blur because uh, we are our frame rate is 24 fps and if you shoot any video at 24 frame per second There will be some sort of motion blur in that But if you increase that frame rate like up to 60 fps or 120 fps This motion blur will be reduced This is directly related to your shutter speed of your camera so here we are not covering this camera thing but let's see in Houdini how we can render this kind of motion blur okay so for that we will start Houdini so here I have this simple animation uh, which is a, a lambic export from Maya and this is a motion capture example in Maya so let's see uh, just quickly create a camera here new camera and lock this because we want to change the position also for this camera all right so we have this character camera now let's go to out drop network output network press tab and create a mantra node okay now you can see this real icon here right click and mantra one now let's render this so this is my image with no motion blur okay now let's start how i can render our character animation or any characters or objects with motion blur so for that first you can select your mantra node go to properties sampling allow motion blur okay if you render it still the motion blur will not come because we need to turn on some other settings also so let's jump back to object level uh, your scene level and uh, where your uh, character is if you select this this is your character go to render sampling and you can enable geometry velocity blur if you check that on and if you render still your motion blur will not be there the reason is this is calculating the velocity blur but if you go inside and if you middle click on this node you cannot find any velocity attribute inside this so we have to create a velocity um, a velocity attribute to generate motion blur for that you can use trail swap this trail swap can generate velocity attribute for you but here uh, instead of preserve original you can use compute velocity and now if you middle click that now you can see this you have v3f that means you have velocity 3 float value that is vector okay so you have now velocity vector now you can if you can uh, render this you will see the motion blur so if you select uh, and render that and here you can see now I can see some sort of motion blur if you compare that go to previous but it's very grainy and uh, how I can fix that for that you can go to out and uh, here you can see the pixel sample you can increase by 10 10 this will obviously increase your uh, render time also so just uh, make a suitable value for you to match your uh, time render time and image quality okay as you can see the my rendering is a bit slow in this but now i get uh, motion blur in this 
So this is the first example where we learned that how we can render a motion blur in characters. Okay. Now what about if we instead of character animation if we used uh, any fractures geometry rigid body stuff then how we can render that. So let's see. Let me open a new scene uh, which is rigid body motion blur test which I created. Uh, okay. So this is uh, also another simple test but here instead of uh, character animation we'll use um, rig rigid body stuff okay so create a new camera uh, new camera lock that select that and first time play the torus collide with two surfaces create uh, debris and these debris we have to render them okay Oh, so second time is faster because it's created its cache and now you can see this okay just come a little bit closer and here we can see our geometry okay stop that uh, let's choose this frame and hit render okay first we have to create the output out and create a mantra okay okay so as you understand properties sampling allow motion blur that's it for now we are not gonna increase the pixel sample and if you render with mantra one okay so we'll just use the default setup which we use for characters so if we go to select your object in my case this is torus object here okay and jump inside this and uh, let's see if you don't want to render your stuff here you can create your new you can uh, we'll just take our simulation just hide this and create a new geometry node and we'll name this to uh, our debris render okay go inside delete this default file node and we'll copy our dop import node so but still you can see your simulation is there everything is fine okay you select this go to render sampling geometry velocity blur now hit render of course you need to add a trail stop here because you want velocity okay one thing i want to say that here we have velocity if you want to see this uh, if you can see there are different velocity uh, attributes which are come and here you can see the velocity 3 float that is also there okay but somehow this is not working for that we can use a trail swap and connect that trail swap here and is here you can use uh, compute velocity okay now if you hit render everything you did as the character animation but here in dynamics where you import the dynamics here you can see the top import that means dynamic operator import but still the motion bar is not coming for that you need to change your import style so for import style if you click on fetch let's try with packed and now you can see a motion blur in your debris so like previously it was this and now you can see that. let's see if if uh, i'm not satisfied with this uh, motion blur and i want to increase that so what we can use we can this veloc velocity scale we can increase that to something around like two and uh, if you render it now you will see much more streaky so it's depend on your scene um, how much motion blur you you need okay and let's see I, I go to any frame where the debris moment is too much so let's go to this frame bit closer and hit render 
okay and uh, of course for remove this kind of noise i, I know you guys understand what i have to do go to out and increase the pixel sample to 10 10 and if you hit render now yeah previously it was that noisy but now it's it's pretty much okay so once you have lights and shadows in your scene it looks very good and you can integrate these layers these render passes in your live action footage with the live shoots which which actually having motion blur and this motion blur is actually required to render from 3d uh, there are some options in compositing so you can add some motion blur in compositing there are good plugins also uh, for example you can use real smart motion blur uh, that is industry is very famous uh, motion blur plugin for after effects nuke but uh, if you are working on any stereo project that uh, that plugin will not work because it's calculating the motion blur based on the pixel and um, here we are ex ex exactly calculating the motion blur from 3d world so if you want to render two cameras the motion blur will be same in both camera so this is the thing you should remember if you're working on a stereo project otherwise you can achieve this kind of blur in compositing also but i would highly recommend like if you have time and if if it is not expensive to render motion blur in 3d so you can definitely go with the 3d motion blur it will look um add more realism in your scene okay uh let's uh and finally uh, uh i will i would like to show you one particular example also like how you can render your um, particles with motion blur so let's see what we have in our scene uh, we have teapot press l oh file cache it's a bit heavy let okay yeah it's working okay let's play this okay let me s figure out out what is happening in this file and I'll come back to you okay so the issue was actually this file cache geometry file was not saved properly okay so make sure uh, dot hip is actually when you found this dot hip is the file uh, file path where your file is open so because of that some issues are there but it's okay now uh, actually in this scene we are just looking for motion blur thing so we are not going through all these nodes and uh, the thing in this scene is like a object which is converting into particles and just disappear okay so let's say uh, if i want to render this frame uh, let's camera we have camera here and go to out we have let's see take one new mantra and in this mantra properties sampling allow motion blur mantra one okay so you have something like that go to object level can if you want your window should always be visible on top of that you can right click and use always on top so by that you can always see your window this now uh, this is in linux you can do this for windows you cannot okay so teapot where our particles is uh, I can go to render sampling geometry velocity blur if you hit render all right you know you can see this there are some blur inside this because 
we have in particles where we use particles you should have the velocity this velocity attribute you have okay so here it's not an issue you can use this and um, let's see if uh, there are some few options also which affect the motion blur is if you in camera and in first by default it's in transform so you can go to your sampling tab and in sampling you can see your shutter time so how much your shutter time you want if you increase that let's say 5 the motion blur streak should be increased as you can see this okay so this shutter time is actually how much how many frames you want with your shutter should be open so let's say if you are rendering frame 12 and uh, if your shutter time is 5 so before 5 frame it's calculating its uh, points and try to join with motion blur from that first uh, on that 5 frame less so in this case uh, if you go back it's 7th so from 7 to 12 all the points will come together and create a blur and let's say if for you want only one frame back so that means it's calculating 11th and 12th for creating motion blur and if you say 0 0.5 which is the default value it will render very minor so in this case if you don't want to change the shutter value it then you can uh, add a new trail stop and increase the velocity there so there are these options with that you can render motion blur in in characters and rigid bodies debris particles wherever you want you can apply your stuff with motion blur you can render with motion blur and yes this is for this tutorial all right bye